everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, <laughs> where do we even start? So I am now, what date is it today? Today is the 7th of January, so this is kind of the second IVF vlog um, for Cycle 3. So my first um, first vlog took you up to kind of day 5 of the treatment, um, we're now on day 6. Uh, today I actually went for my baseline scan, um, I am waiting to hear back from the clinic but basically I got there this morning, I was literally in and out within 10-15 minutes, it was mad how quick it was really. Um, I got to London at 10 o'clock and I was on the train home at half 11, like it was so so quick. Um, so I got to London, I went for a quick coffee um, because it literally takes me two minutes to get to the train station so I always get like the earlier train that gives me about 45 minutes leeway because I think if ever there's any delays I'd rather be early than late basically um, so yeah so I popped into um, next door to have a quick coffee went in it was really really quick my doctor was lovely um, so it was my first well technically it was my second baseline scan but it was the first one since I started injecting um, and effectively for those of you that don't know what a baseline scan is is it's an internal scan where they have a look at your ovaries and basically have a look to see how they're developing how many follicles you've got how the follicles are growing your womb lining um basically to make sure that the medication is doing what it should be doing um so yeah i got there this morning everything looks okay he did say that it is too early at this stage to say whether or not we're on track for a good number whether or not it looks like it's going to be a good cycle or not um so what he said was that on my right ovary i had 12 follicles and on my left i had eight um the eight on my left ovary are quite small they're not quite as they're not progressing as well as the one on my uh, the ones on my right ovaries which isn't unusual at all um that's something that has happened in every single cycle um but the 12 on my right hand side are doing okay eight of them are a really good size um the other four are a bit smaller but all in all everything seems to be progressing okay um so all in all there's about 20 follicles um eight of which are doing really well basically uh, my womb lining, I think he said, was 5.6 millimetres, um, which that I, I think is okay. He didn't express any concern around that, so I'm quite happy with that. He said that seems to be developing okay. Um, and then I had a blood test done. Uh, I also had to do my PCR test, so that was all done. Um, I had to do that at home and then take that to the clinic. Um, my blood's getting this afternoon, so it's currently 10 past 4. I've been home since about half 12. Um, and I've been waiting for them to call ever since. So we are just waiting for that phone call um, to let me know whether or not I need to up my medication, whether or not I need to reduce my medication, whether or not um, I can start my cetratide medication in the morning. So my cetratide medication is another injection that I start tomorrow. Um, and that is basically to stop me from ovulating. Uh, so yeah, so they will let me know whether or not I can start that tomorrow or whether or not I need to wait um another day or two so yeah so everything seemed to go quite well and like i say now it's just a waiting game waiting for them to call um i'm really paranoid that like every time i go to the toilet i'm worried that i've missed the call um and yeah it's just just a bit of a nightmare um but i'm very tired today i am feeling quite lethargic um it's funny as soon as i said i was tired i was about to yawn um whew just for dramatic effect um but yeah so all all seem to go quite well and just fingers crossed that everything when they ring is normal and my covid test doesn't come back positive um so yeah all is good all is good i'm now um i took the day off work i've got to go back on monday for a scan providing that they confirm that on the phone um and I booked this afternoon off work, but when I got home, I did have some work to do. So I logged onto my laptop because I thought I had um, a presentation to do on Monday, but I don't, it's been postponed. So that's great. So um, I'm actually doing some admin work for the salon right now. Uh, so I'm gonna crack on with that and just hope that therefore my mind is kind of occupied until they call. Um, so yeah, we'll see. Oh, it's the waiting game, it's all started again. So I've just got off the phone. <laughs> I've just got off the phone to the clinic. They've just rang. Um, it's now 10 to 5. So they like to leave it last minute, clearly. Um, I am increasing my medication. So at the moment I take 
uh, 75 units of Merio Fur and 150 units of Fostamon. Um, but they've asked that I increase the Merio Fur. So I'm now on 300 units altogether. Um, I start my Cetratide tomorrow morning um, and I also have a dose of antibiotics to take tomorrow ready for my egg collection next week. Um, I have to take all four of, I can't even remember what they're called, but the ear begins with an A, but I have to take them all on one day. It's like a course of four. Um, what they did want to do is put me on doxycycline every day for the whole of my cycle into leg collection but I have a bit of an intolerance to doxycycline and every time I take it I'm violently sick so um, they've put me on this other antibiotic but when she was on the phone she was like oh you need to take um continue with the Inixa daily and I was like oh no I take it all in one day she went what do you mean you take it all in one day I said well I was told that I was supposed to take it every day but because I have got an allergy to it that I take it all in one day she was like, what? And she was really paranoid. And I obviously really made her panic because she thought I was taking all my blood thinners in one day. And then I realised that Inixa is obviously my blood thinner and not my antibiotics. So I really made her panic there. Um, but yeah, so everything's fine. It's just a case of increasing my medication. So hopefully my follicles grow um, a little bit better. But I'm really happy with that. I'm really satisfied that um, they're making the relevant changes and that as far as they're concerned, everything seems to be going to plan. Um, my baseline scan, my third baseline scan is on Monday, um, so that's fine. So everything is on track and yeah, so hopefully the next one will be Wednesday and we will be triggering hopefully on Thursday, um, but we'll see. We will see, one day at a time, one day at a time. But yeah, I'm happy, I'm happy with that. Um, so yeah, it's just a case of increasing the meds tonight. Oof. It's all getting very real. Good evening, um, sorry it's so close to my face, it's just the best place to uh, balance the camera right now, I can't be bothered to set up the tripod to sit and chat in bed to be honest, um, but yeah I hope you're okay, uh, today is cycle day, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, so today is the 8th of January, so yeah it's cycle day 7, um, I found today really hard. I think today is definitely the hardest day so far. Um, I just had a little cry before I did my injection. Um, I'm trying to take it really easy, in all honesty. Uh, I haven't really been feeling bloated or anything like that. Like, I'm not really bruising. I've got a few, like, really light yellow bruises um, on my stomach. But other than that it's been quite straightforward but obviously they upped my medication yesterday um and yesterday after i did my medication um i was quite tired but that was it really um although funny enough i couldn't sleep last night um but i got up this morning obviously i'm isolating somewhat um so this morning i went to meet my friend and we went for a nice long walk we must have been walking for around an hour, hour and a half, we took Bruce, um, and it was really lovely, it was really nice to get out, get some fresh air, just walk around, um, and feel normal for a little while. Um, I think I might have overdone it a little bit by being out so much, um, like I say, I'm feeling really tired at the moment, and that just seems to be my biggest side effect, if you like, is just that I am so tired, um, 
so yeah i went i kind of got back and i just sat on the sofa i made a cup of tea washed the dog down made a cup of tea dried the dog I had an absolute nightmare trying to do that he did not want to play ball um and yeah i just got changed got under the blanket on the sofa and i literally laid there for about three and a half hours and did nothing else at all um i didn't even make my own cup of tea like marco bless his heart has been waiting on me hand and foot in between clients and everything like he's really really looking after me at the minute but today like i say i have found immensely hard um my sister came uh, my sister does my nails um and so i'd got like gel overlays on but obviously you need them off before egg collection um my egg collection isn't until well it's scheduled for next saturday um but she wouldn't have been able to come at any other time so she came to take them off this afternoon so she got there and the first like hour or so of her being at my house i was just like i didn't even want to talk um like i was just kind of laying there like uh-huh uh-huh um and then i perked up a little bit and i was all right and then like i say this evening i've just felt so emotional like i just keep crying um and i don't even know what at um i'm finding the injections quite tiring um obviously this is only like what day five of injecting day five day six day five um i don't even know anymore uh day five of injecting i think so we're still quite early on like we're still injecting at the moment until wednesday and then hopefully wednesday hopefully thursday i'll trigger so I've, I've still got injections to do and then my progesterone is also injections so i'm not getting rid of injections anytime soon um i am aware i'm rambling i'm so sorry i'm gonna edit this and realize just how much i've not made any sense whatsoever um but the injections i am getting quite tired of obviously at the minute i'm doing three a day i had to take four antibiotics this afternoon um ahead of my egg collection to make sure that i don't get any infections um and yeah, I don't know, I just feel really tired. I feel really tired and really emotional. Um, and I don't even know what I'm getting upset over. It's like I said to Marco, like, it's... Like I said yesterday, like, I feel quite detached from this whole process at the minute. But now I'm starting to feel... Like it is so much harder than the protocols that I've done before. Um, obviously my dosage is a lot higher than it's been before. The amount of medication I'm on is different to before like i've never had to do more than two injections in a day um and i've never really felt anything other than the bloatedness um it's only when i've been on the progesterone that i've been feeling so tired whereas i am literally feeling exhausted and so emotional i don't even really know what i'm trying to say because i feel like i'm just repeating that i'm tired and emotional like that is literally all i'm saying to you um I had to email the clinic today. I had to get in contact with them because on the basis that they've upped my medication, I am going to run out of medication on Monday instead of Thursday. So I had to do that today. I just feel a little bit like a rabbit in headlights at the minute. Like there's no, I kind of feel like I've convinced myself that this has to work. As I feel like it's the only way that I'm going to get through the next few weeks of it's all going to be worth it. And feeling like this now is going to be worth it. Um, I don't know. We've been really good. Like, I've been eating really healthy over the last week. But we have ordered, uh, we have ordered tonight. We're having Burger King. Um, I didn't want anything, like, really big. Like, when we get, like, Chinese and Indian and things, like, we do order loads of food. Um, so we've just gone for a Burger King. So I've just got a chicken burger and some chips. So I don't think we went overboard. I was going to get a milkshake from Five Guys as well, but I did stop myself doing that. Um, I think, you know, I'm feeling, I'm feeling it today and I really don't think one, one meal outside of my nutrition plan is going to be the be all and end all in all honesty. Um, so that's where I'm at. So I'm having Burger King tonight. Oh, this is depressing, isn't it? I feel like I'm just like a proper mood kill right now, but that's where I am. And I always said I'd be really transparent. And right now on day seven, I'm finding it hard. And I'm finding it hard to compute how I feel. I'm finding it hard to explain how I feel. I feel quite lethargic. I feel quite emotional. I feel tired. I feel <sighs> just a bit fed up today. Just a little bit fed up. And it doesn't help that I think, I think the fact that we're in isolation, obviously we're not, 
I say we're in isolation, but then I've also said that I went for a walk this morning when my sister came around. Like, for the most part, we are, I am isolating. I'm minimising my contact as much as possible, um, unless it's outside. Like I say, my sister had a reason to come today, um, but, like, it's my dad's birthday on Monday, and so him and my sister and my stepmom have gone out for dinner tonight, and I'm really upset that I couldn't go. Um, I'm going to go for a walk with her tomorrow, with my sister tomorrow. Um... So I'll see her again outside. And I think now I've done my PCR test, I think on Monday I might just say to my dad, just do a lateral flow and I'll come and see you. Because um, I am just struggling a little bit. Feeling like I can't really go see anyone or speak to anyone. Obviously I can speak to someone, but you know what I mean? It's not the same as having a hug off your old pa, is it? So, yeah. I hope you're all okay. Uh, I'm feeling much better today, in case you hadn't noticed. Um, my spirits are definitely higher. Um, my bloat has appeared. I was moaning all yesterday that I didn't have a bloat. And now, look at that bad boy. I am so bloated. I woke up this morning and honestly felt like I had a football in my stomach. Um, it is really... Sorry, I've just done some toast. Um, yeah definitely feeling it today um in terms of the bloatedness in terms of the tiredness i'm not as emotional as i was yesterday um yesterday i i, I don't think the antibiotics helped because they made me feel so sick that you put it all together you put the tiredness the sickness um yeah it just wasn't great i just wasn't having a very good day yesterday whereas i feel much better today um i took myself out of isolation a little bit today in the sense that i did my covid test on friday um i still won't go like anywhere public kind of thing like I won't go for a coffee with my friend or anything like that um like I said yesterday my sister went out for dinner with my dad last night for his birthday and I, I didn't go um I'm not overly comfortable going somewhere really busy where there's lots of other people um so I'd rather just see people like in their houses or in my house um after they've tested and stuff like that so um I had to go and pick up my dad's present today I, I actually got him like the most random present, but my dad loves Harry Potter. He always has it. Like Harry Potter was mine and my dad's thing growing up. Like when the books came out, we went and bought them together and he would read one and immediately give it to me. Um, and yeah, we just, we loved it. So, um, but my dad also is a massive fan of board games. Um, so I got him the Harry Potter Trivial Pursuit. So I popped into Waterstones today, picked that up. Um, and yeah, then Popped over to see Marco's dad really quickly. Um, Marco had gone out, it's his mum's birthday today, so Marco had gone out with his mum um, for lunch. So obviously I didn't go, like I say, I didn't really wanna go out anywhere public. Um, so yeah, they we, we popped to see his dad really, really quickly um, at home and then went over to my dad's this evening, which was actually really nice and my dad really settled my mind. Um, my dad's not the most, um, like, my dad won't just actively text me and be like, how's your treatment going? Like, my dad very much is the type of man that if I want to talk to him, by all means, he will give me everything that I need. But he won't approach me unless he feels like I really need it kind of thing. He lets me come to him with things like this. Um, so we went around this afternoon. Obviously, he asked how it was going. Um, and we were just talking about everything. And I was saying, you know, I do feel a bit, a bit more pressure this time because it's the third time. I feel like family are a lot more excited about it this time um you know like my grandma who has never really me and my grandma are like so we are so close um and like growing up I was definitely a grandma's girl over like a mummy or daddy's girl um but 
my grandma's never really been one to go, oh, you know, it'll definitely work and this, that and the other. Like my grandma's always been quite level headed about it. Um, but like my grandma said to me that she's she's got a tingling this time with her words. Um and you know, it just feels like like I get the impression from like my dad that he's ready to be a granddad now. Um I'm like Marco's parents are really excited about us being in treatment again and things like that. And I was just saying to my dad that I feel a lot more pressure this time. Um, and you know, like I, I talk to my mum about it quite a lot and I think my mum is really, my mum is quite level headed with it um, and knows uh, she's quite good with the whole, you know, it might not work, but all you can do is do what you're doing. Um, so my mum and dad aren't together. But we, like I say, this afternoon it was at my dad's and we were talking about it and my dad was saying, you know, at the end of the day, all you can do is what you can do. Like you are doing everything that you can to make this happen. There is no point putting that pressure on yourself or thinking that you could have done more or that you could do more because you can't. Like you physically cannot do any more than you're doing. Um, and really just kind of calmed me down with that. So that was really nice. Um, and yeah, so that, that was really good. Um, so we came home, I did my injection. Um, Marco, uh, all of his friends, like there's a group of them. Um, he's in a couple of group chats and one of the group chats, like all his really good friends, they they were all going out tonight and on the basis that I had kind of said that I'm not isolating, um, I'm isolating even, Marco had said no and Marco decided not to go. Um, and we got home and he was just like, he wasn't on his phone and I was like, oh, she, like the NFL was on. And I was like, oh, is your group chat like not going off? And he was like, oh no, they're all, um, they're all at the pub. So I was like, okay. And I, I thought about it and I thought, you know, like Marco's had COVID quite recently. The chances of Marco getting COVID again are really slim. Um, Yes, okay, arguably he could touch a surface and bring it into the house or whatever. Um, but I think the chances are quite slim. And I, I felt really bad for him, so I told him to go. Um, he said no on numerous occasions, but I did insist that he went and gave him a lift. So I am waiting for him. Um, but yeah, I just, I feel a lot better tonight. And I think I feel so much more at ease. Um, and like, you know, like my dad said, it is what it is at the end of the day. It's either going to work or it's not, and there is nothing more than I can that I can do that is going to change that. Um, so I'm just going to have to trust the process somewhat, I think. And I hate that. I hate that saying. I hate the saying, you know, just trust the process. But there really isn't much more that I can do. Um, I posted on Instagram today, actually. I posted um, a reel of me doing some of my injections. Um, so I kind of, I had planned on uploading vlog number one today. Um, but I chickened out. I just didn't feel ready. I don't know why, I just didn't feel ready. I feel like I have quite enjoyed the privacy of it. Um, and I have really felt like I've been in a bubble with it, which has been really nice. And I'm a little bit nervous about putting it out there because then people will inevitably ask about the transfer and the result and people aren't stupid and people would, can quite easily put two and two together and know when my transfer will be approximately and I just I just don't feel like I'm ready for that I really don't feel like I'm ready um and I don't really know why I don't know why at all um but I did upload that reel I did do a bit of a Q&A without kind of giving away when where we are or anything like that so um I do feel much better having put that out there but I do also quite like the fact that it's been a bit subtle rather than this is everything. Um, so I definitely think I've made the right decision doing it as and when. Um, I don't know why, I just feel a little bit protective over this cycle. Um, and like I say, I don't know why. I do think some of it is because I feel that element of detached from it. Um, that I perhaps feel like by being really open about it and documenting it all as and when, that a lot of the conversations I have on Instagram will revolve around that. Oh, my camera's about to fall over. <laughs> I thought I was starting to look... A, I thought I was starting to look a bit wonky and I couldn't figure out why. Um, but yeah, so I think, um, you know, most of my conversations on Instagram revolve around IVF anyway, but I didn't... I don't know, I didn't want to feel like I was in a position where I had to... I couldn't not disclose where I was kind of thing. Um, so I'm glad I've done it the way I am. Um, but yeah, everyone has been so great and so supportive and so lovely. Um, and that's been great. Like, that really has been great. Um, so yeah, all in all, it's been good. All in all, today has been a good day. I'm just bloated and tired. Um, and I'm hoping Marco's not going to be too late because I said I'd pick him up. So I'm hoping he won't be any later than 11. We've got my second baseline scan tomorrow. Well, my third baseline scan tomorrow. Um, but the second one since I started stims. Um, 
hopefully everything is okay. I can feel my ovaries twinging. So hopefully everything looks good. Hopefully we are looking good to trigger on Thursday and have egg collection on Saturday. Um, but we will see. So one step at a time. Trying not to get ahead of myself. Um, but yeah. morning hope you're all okay um i i'm gonna round the video off now i know this one hasn't necessarily been as chatty i don't think i don't know i can't remember how i'm editing them right now off the top of my head um but yeah i hope you're okay um today is i don't even know today is the 12th is it the 12th yeah today is the 12th of january so today is um cycle day 11 which means it's day nine of injecting um I have a baseline scan this morning um, and if everything is on track I will be doing my last foster mono merio for tonight and tomorrow I will be triggering um, which means that my egg collection will be on Saturday so we'll have to see how that goes um, they increased my medication on Monday um, my camera died and then I just never ever got around to actually recording but they increased my medication on Monday they increased my foster mon. Um I've been really tired like that has literally been my only side effect um and i think yesterday i ended up having a nap on my lunch break and i've never done that i have never ever ever had a nap on my lunch break um so yeah but i really needed that i was in bed quite early last night um and all in all i've just been knackered like really really tired it seems to get like i'm absolutely fine in the morning and then it's like between half one and three and then i just really crash um so yeah, and it, it just gets worse, obviously, the more medication that they add. Um, but yeah, fingers crossed everything is doing okay. My baseline scan on Monday, it looked like I had 12 eggs on my right side and 8 on my left. Um, that was on Friday, sorry. On Monday when I went, it looked like I had around 18, 19 on my right ovary and then I still had 8 on my left. But the ones on my left had grown, like 6 out of 8 of them were a good size whereas on the left hand side eight of them were still really small um two of them were like okay but the rest were a good size so it it looks okay it looks like i i have about 12 decent follicles but um obviously we'll see today whether or not that's changed they're really thorough i have like a blood test every single time i go which is great um but yeah i think uh just fingers crossed that today everything goes okay everything's all right i'm starting to bruise a little bit now um only ever so slightly i'll show you um but you can see there like it's not horrific but i've started to bruise there and i think i'm gonna have one coming here now um 
not ideal mat. Uh, what a disgusting angle that is, I do apologise. Um, but yeah, so it all seems to be going okay, everything seems to go to plan. It's definitely been the most smooth sailing cycle I've had. Um, and yeah, I'm just really praying that it continues that way. Um, I'm starting to feel a little bit more in it, like a bit less detached, but that feeling of being kind of distant from it is still there. Um, and like I say, I don't think it's a bad thing. I don't think it's a bad thing at all, really. Um, and I think after egg collection, that's when things kind of get scary for us. And so I think after Saturday, I think I will feel very different. Um, I'm just having my, sorry. I'm just having my <clears throat> my morning cup of tea uh, and then I need to get ready and go. Um, Marco's not coming with me today because he is just so busy at work. It would have just been pointless to move his appointments around for a scan that he can't even come into. So um, I'm going on my own today. I've got a new book to start reading. It's called uh, it's Thursday Murder Club by Richard Osman. Uh, loads of people have told me it's really good. So I bought that. Um, and I'm going to read that on the train on the way there, the way back. I've got to edit the podcast when I get home. Um, we had Ruth Corden recording with us last night, which was just great. Um, so obviously by the time I've uploaded this, that will have been out for a little while. But if you haven't listened, then do head over. Um, it's a really, really good episode. So yeah. Um, and that is about all I have for you, really. I think. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to disappear now. Um... And yeah, fingers crossed everything goes okay. Um, obviously, if you haven't already, then do make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Um, and yeah, I will see you next week for another video. Um, and hopefully, this scan goes alright. But yeah. Fingers crossed, hey gang. Fingers crossed. Um, yeah, cool. See you later.